Hi, everyone. Welcome to another training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder of journalisttoolbox.ai. Uh, this is a resource website uh, with all kinds of different AI tools in it, uh, everything from creating uh, videos and images to data tools, uh, uh, chat GPT, uh, plugins, all kinds of uh, fun things. Um, one of the sections in here is AI and writing and editing tools. Uh, in there, you will find uh, writing tools at the top. And a little lower on the page, you'll find the editing tools there, prompt writing tools as well. The editing tools are down here. And this is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to work with some of the tools uh, off of this web page. So if you go to journalisttoolbox.ai, journalist plural, uh, you'll come to this page and just select writing and editing tools. Uh, and you will have all of the resources you will ever need for writing and editing for the web. Um, our handout for today, and you might want to hit the pause button to open this up, bit.ly slash AI editing tools. I've selected a handful of the tools right here, uh, as well as the Journals Toolbox AI tools. So if you want to hit pause here and open up this uh, document and then open up all these tools so you have everything open and uh, can use them. All right, welcome back. Um, you should now have uh, all these uh, editing tools uh, open. Uh, these are free tools. Uh, some of them are freemium accounts that have you know some paid upgrades that we'll look into in a minute. But most of them are free tools that you know anybody can use uh, on the web. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of exercises uh, with these, and these are the stories I've got pasted below here. Uh, you also can use your own stories as well. Um, so it really doesn't matter. But if you want to follow along, the first tool we're going to work with is called Headline Hero. Um, and I like this uh, tool. It's very simple to use. You can paste your story in here. Um, it, it is a little limited on the length of the story you can fit in there. I've, you know, I've gotten a few hundred words in there. Um, it's good for breaking news stories, and especially if you're stuck on writing a headline. Um, it's really good for SEO-driven headlines. If you, you keep the uh, length of the headline a little shorter up here, uh, it'll work a little better for print headlines. You know, if you take the maximum characters, uh, you know, down to 30 to 60, you know, you're probably going to get a better print headline than you would if you're up, you know, pretty high here. This would be a very high-end uh, uh, SEO uh, headline, very long SEO headline. Um, I would try to keep my SEO headlines between you know, 70 and maybe 85, uh, right in there, 70 to 90. Um, you can uh, select what words you want to make sure that appear in the headline. Uh, you also can exclude words. Uh, you can do it in the form of a question or a quote. Um, I'm not big on, on that, but especially with news stories. Um, I, I don't like gimmicky headlines, uh, especially with straightforward news. Uh, but I, you know, I can uh, uh, paste my story in here and, and select a couple of keywords that I want uh, included in the headline, you know, typically uh, proper nouns that appear in the story. So here's a practice story. I mean, you can do this with one of your own as well. Um, I've got this, this low, uh, little short story uh, that a student's been working on on Chicago Transit Authority uh, ridership on the buses and the L trains here in Chicago. Um, uh, has been waiting, you know, since the start of the pandemic and continues to. Um, so I've just pasted that story in here uh, and uh, I can go through and I want to have two words up here here, CTA, which is our abbreviation for Chicago Transit Authority, uh, and then also ridership. I'll make sure those two appear. Now, I, I could do other things, too. I could include pandemic or COVID-19 in here. Um, I, I can have it generate uh, however many headlines you want. If you just want three or four or five, you know, is a maximum. Um, so I've got the story in. I, I'm going to give it between uh, 70 and 90 characters. Um, you know, a little shorter headline, good good SEO range. You know, so you know Google and other search engines don't cut off the headline right in the middle. Um, you know, hit generate. And with any AI tool, consider this a suggestion. Um, don't let it write the headlines for you. But if you're stuck uh, and you really need a little help. Uh, and uh, need to think through it a bit, um, you can go through and, and uh, do this exercise. And it'll help you. Um, let's see how they did here. They gave us five of them here. It's got a nice little copy button here. You just copy and paste it out of it. Gives you the character length. Um, went a little high, went a little uh, on the high end of our, our uh, range here. Would like to have seen it give me something a little shorter, but I can always take some word uh, uh, words out. Um, and, you know, this one here is pretty good. CTA's post-pandemic struggles, low ridership and safety concerns continue, continue to persist. Uh, you know, as you read through the story, uh, it's got quite a, a, a few of those um, uh, issues 
uh, in the story, which is a pretty good one. Um, this one's, I think, is a little off base, long term impact. So, you know, you vet these and edit them uh, into what you want. You know, you could still do some rewriting with it, uh, with the headlines. You don't have to take, you know, what it what it gives you. But I would probably take this one and, and maybe tighten it just a little more. Um, instead of continue uh, to persist, I might tighten it up to just persist um, and safety uh, concerns persist. But again, if you're stuck on a headline, Headline Heroes are a very user friendly, uh, quick tool uh, that you can take. Uh, and use to generate uh, some ideas for headlines. And, and that's how I always treat my AI tools. I consider them suggestions, a little tap on the shoulder, um, rather than something that you know uh, is I'm going to just take and cut and paste in somewhere. I don't know if I would do that with, with any tool I use uh, online, uh, let alone an AI-driven tool. So headlinehero.io, um, use this uh, very, very helpful tool. Another good one is Hemingway, HemingwayApp.com. It was on your list. Um, named after uh, one of my favorite authors, uh, too, which uh, I love about it. Uh, this one goes through and analyzes your writing. I I've had good and bad luck with this. You know, it's hit and miss anytime you have uh, AI analyze or, you know, uh, your writing or anything. But it has flagged a few things, you know, and I use it as a copy editor when I'm going through student stories uh, and, you know, see if I missed anything. Um, you know, so I can drop my headline in there. But I'll go back and actually grab this story again that we were working with earlier. Um, and you can put your headline in there as, as well. You know, it'll, it'll uh, go through and check that. Um, and uh, it gives you, you know, less of a, you know, grammar check and things like that. It, it'll flag passive voice and things like that. Um, and anything, you know, in in uh, this pink color here uh, is eight of the 15 sentences are very, says it says are very hard to read. Uh, four of 15 are hard to read. Um, so it went through here and thought it was a little wordy. Passive voice is flagged in green, which, you know, sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, but, uh, um, uh, you know, it, you could flip this one a bit, you know, officials ordered, uh, you know, stay at home orders, uh, things like that. Um, adverbs, um, you know, it, it'll uh, hit those uh, and just flag them here if you feel they need to, you know, abundantly evident, I would take uh, take out, you know, this was a, a little opinion that the student put at the end of the story, I wound up actually cutting this uh, uh, sentence out of the story. Um, but if you need a little more help uh, in here, and, and I agree with some of the, uh, you know, pink here that they they flagged being too wordy, and I can go back and tighten it up a little bit more. Sometimes I do it at the very beginning of editing just to give it a little, uh, you know, uh, quick uh, uh, analysis and see if I need to go in and do anything uh, specific right from the very start. Um, but again, you know, I, I kind of take it with a grain of salt. Uh, it, uh, uh, you know, some of the suggestions I think are really good in here. Some are just ridiculous. You know, they say, you know, this 15 uh, word sentence is hard to read. No, you know, no, it's not. Uh, or it flags anything with a dependent clause, things like that. And some, you know, sometimes you need those in, in, in your writing. Um, so uh, keep uh, Hemingway in mind. It can be really good for, you know, flagging certain uh, uh, issues uh, in your in your writing uh, or others write. Um, Quillbot. Um, Quillbot is a paraphrasing tool. Um, and uh, the uh, free version of it kind of limits how much sample text you can uh, uh, text you can paste in here. Just gives you a few hundred words. Uh, but it does have a pro version uh, to it that you can upgrade to the uh, premium version. Uh, so the basic versions over here, um, you know, you can get up to 1,200 words, which isn't bad. But premium, uh, you know, which, uh, you know, has a, a money back guarantee on it, which is nice too, will let you do up to 6,000 words. So if you're working with academic pros or maybe investigative stories, uh, things like that, um, has a plagiarism checker in it too, which is really nice. Uh, but you can upgrade uh, to the paid version and the prices do vary. You know, you can find them on sale, things like that. Um, uh, you know, look for a little, uh, you know, key code or something uh, that might give you a price break. So on our exercise sheet here, I've got a second article a little lower on page two um, that you can grab here. And this is just uh, from an academic journal, um, a little piece of windy writing here uh, that we can take and we can have Quillbot go through uh, very quickly here and do a little paraphrase analysis here and kind of tighten it up a little bit. Now, notice it cuts it off right here because it's, uh, you know, uh, only giving you the first few words. What you do is go back and do each paragraph separately. Um, you know, so it take a little bit longer. It just doesn't do large blocks of text. Um, and it goes through and, you know, offers some things, you know, some rephrase, synonyms. If you hover over a word, you know, you can get a synonym for it, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and, and uh, uh, you know, you can... Uh, 
uh, go through and change these settings here to get more if you want. Uh, and that's a nice little feature is being able to, uh, you know, go through and, and do that quick edit and, and tighten things up a bit uh, with it. Um, it's hit and miss for, for journalistic writing. Um, it it uh, doesn't write uh, or paraphrase uh, as a weird journalist. It does it more for just kind of a general writing audience. Um, but I've uh, when I've been stuck on something, uh, I just finished writing a book. And you know, there were a couple paragraphs that I wrote. I was just like, oh, my God. You know, I was trying to rewrite them. Uh, I dropped them into here and just took a quick look at them. And it's like, OK, you know, maybe I'll take half of this and half of this uh, and merge it together. Um, so it's, again, it's, think of it as a suggestion. So, uh, you know, you can go and drop, uh, drop the copy in here. I'll do it in uh, several languages, you know, uh, French, Spanish, German. Um, there's several others listed under the pull down menu here, which is nice, you know, uh, with an international audience, uh, you, know, you want to be able to uh, work in several different languages. Um, again, AI driven tools, some good stuff. Here's a tool that's not AI driven, thsrs.com, the shorter thesaurus. This one's been around forever. This is a database where I can type in a word and it gives me synonyms back, but only synonyms that are shorter than the word that I typed in. So if I typed in terminate, uh, it'll give me words like buy um, uh, or uh, end, stop. It gives me, if I type in, uh, oh, purchase, it'll give me like buy and things like that. Um, so yeah, look up. This is good if you're writing headlines uh, and you need a shorter word, especially if you're writing print headlines, you really need to keep your headline tight, you have a tight word count. THSRS, uh, very helpful. I've used it for more than a decade, fantastic tool. Um, and free to use. Uh, again, it's not an AI tool, uh, but uh, you know, uh, pretty useful uh, if you're doing a lot of editing and headline writing. Another one uh, that's database driven uh, is this one called Lose the Very. Uh, if you work with a lot of young writers like I do, uh, a lot of them, uh, you like to use their adjectives and adverbs, uh, as we saw earlier uh, uh, in the uh, Hemingway, uh, where it flagged the uh, adjectives and adverbs. Um, so I always give the students this tool and flag it in their writing. Uh, so if they use you know, a term like very smart, I'll mark on their paper, go in and in the footnotes, go in and say, you know, go into uh, lose the very and you know, type in uh, uh, very smart, gives me a little ad there. Notice they've got a lot of ads on here now. They've uh, added that, gotta pay the bills. It's a free tool. And I can hit this refresh button and it gives me again, synonyms for what they should have typed probably instead of very smart. Um, it also has make a suggestion, so it's crowdsourced, so you can make suggestions on, you know, additional uh, terms that uh, might work here, and they, they do vet those before they put them in here. Um, so lose a very, another really good editing tool, uh, and again, uh, it's, you know, not an AI tool, but I wanted to include it in here anyway. So just as a little reminder, journalisttoolbox.ai, uh, go to this site, it's got a lot of really helpful resources for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, take advantage of all these tools here that I've given you uh, and work them into your editing workflow. You'll find them to be very useful and make you more efficient. That's it. Thanks so much.